The cool thing about this is it's a sleeper, man. You don't look at this bike and necessarily it doesn't like scream high performance wheelie machine fast motorcycle, but you jump on and I tell you what, man, it's a whole nother experience. Hey, buenos dias. Que onda? Que paso, amigos? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're sitting here with the Honda CB1100. I just picked this bike up two days ago. And I got out today to take it for its first test ride, kind of first spin, put it through the paces. I plan on doing a ride review video on it, and I had to scrap everything, and I'm starting from scratch. Like I said, this is really my first time actually getting out on the motorcycle, and the more I ride this bike, the more I'm falling in love with it. You know, there's a lot of different things people look for in a motorcycle. Some people look just for style. Some people look for performance. Some people look for comfort. I have to say this bike is hands down one of my favorite bikes so far. Probably one of the most underrated bikes, most overlooked bikes, and it's a freaking sleeper. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to bring you my ride review impressions on the Honda CB1100. We'll go over some of the basic specs, just gloss over that, and then just go a little more in depth, go over the ergonomics, the styling, the performance, just the overall experience, what I dig about the motorcycle, and why you may dig this bike as well. As always, this is a Joe Schmo's impression. I'm no expert. If anything, I'm a total wannabe. So take everything I say with a grain of salt, but hopefully this provides an additional perspective and some impressions. Just in case you're considering the CB1100, you can see what I like, dislike about the bike. All right, you guys, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump into it. The Honda CB1100. All right, so we'll do a quick walk around. Obviously, as you can see, this is a total throwback style. Honda came out with this in 2010, a throwback to the retro old school cool CBs from yesteryears. And they did an awesome job, in my opinion, with the styling. You've got just the basic bare bones. You got the chrome. In fact, I showed my dad a picture of this one I was like hey I picked up like an old 80s CB1100 and he didn't even think twice about it granted he didn't take a super close look so let's talk about comfort just throwing a leg over I'm about five foot eight the seat height is just over 30 inches and I flat foot just fine the bike looks like a big motorcycle it may look intimidating and overwhelming to some it only weighs about 540 pounds which isn't that bad a lot lighter than a lot of your Harleys out there you know, I've got a little Harley street rod in the garage. That thing weighs 520 pounds. It's pretty narrow too, but it feels very long, very spacious, very roomy. You got this nice long tank, the old school seats that just go back as far as you want them to go. So all that's pretty cool. These things, dual disc brakes, adjustable preload suspension front and rear. And if you go with the deluxe, you have the ABS option as well. Another, a few differences in 2014, they, went from a five speed to a six speed gearbox and what else I think they went up one tooth in the rear up to a 42 sprocket in the rear and maybe a few other little changes but nothing super super crazy and then with the deluxe model you're gonna get yourself and then with the deluxe model you're gonna get yourself a slightly larger gas tank by four into two exhaust and you can get the nice upgraded red, you know, paint scheme. Let's jump on the freeway real quick. We'll do a quick zero to 60, see how this thing flies. And then I'll proceed with my, uh, my impressions on this bike. Uh, pretty sure that's the speed limit on the on-ramp. But yeah, overall ergonomics, it's a very neutral riding position. It's comfortable. You've got your mid kind of sportier, uh, foot position it's obviously not forward controls I imagine this is what a sport touring bike would feel like first time I jumped on this bike it reminded me of the Goldwing you know everything I love about the Honda Goldwing just how smooth and precise and seamless the experience is extremely smooth shifting the clutch is nice and easy and progressive the brakes are uh, very responsive 
and then you add that to just how nimble and agile the bike feels and geez it just makes for such a fun ride so performance on this thing horsepower i think is just under 90 it's just under 90 horsepower and just under 70 foot pounds of torque so it's not going to be like way at the top as far as performance which i know like the cv750 back in the day or so i'm told was renowned because of the performance aspect of it um this thing's just kind of right there but more than enough horsepower because of the inline four engine you have a very linear tor torque curve where pretty much no matter where you're at you get on the gas and this thing responds and it moves but again it's just amazing how how responsive it is and how refined this thing feels <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys. The more I ride this bike, you know, the more time I spend on it, the more I'm liking it. What a freaking monster. What a blast. It's a big bike, but it doesn't feel that big. It feels agile. It feels nimble. It's super comfortable. You got that super linear tor torque curve. I feel like this takes everything I love about the Honda Goldwing F6B, combines it into a little bit more, a little bit smaller and more manageable package, and one where you can rip or get around, have this cool old school look, and then also kind of do the hooligan stuff if you dig that as well. I mean, you know, I like having the options, and I feel like this one gives you all of that. Plus, like I said, it's a unique kind of head turning motorcycle. You definitely do not have everybody and their mother riding around on this bike. It's amazing because the power delivery, it's so, it feels so controlled, like so tame. The FC09, that is just like a gnarly bike. It scares me to ride it so much power. I feel like I'm going to kill myself on it. I jump on this and it just feels like it's all just exactly fine-tuned, precise, exactly how you would like need it to be. One thing is, when I first saw this bike, I thought it was a pretty cool looking bike and I was sure it would be a fun one to zip around on, but it wasn't really on my radar because honestly it's kind of a bland looking motorcycle, right? And then also it's a very niche bike. You know, you have to be looking for that old school style to really consider or have this bike on your radar typically. That's why, like I said, this bike wasn't really on my radar for the longest time and it was really just by happenstance that it fell into my lap. You know, I went out to buy a Vulcan 650S it was a package deal got a good deal on the two of them but it was riding this one that put the biggest grin on my face i remember after taking this one for my first ride i was like dang i want to spend some more time on this bike and see what it's all about i feel like it checks all the boxes if you're looking for that old school cool check a little sport oriented but more comfortable check if you're looking for something that has a performance side of it check if you want to do the hooligan stuff check i mean you can really do just about all of it on this thing i mean it really it feels like a, a supermoto on steroids you know i don't really have a lot of complaints with this bike i really don't like i said i mean the only one i can think of is it's just kind of bland looking but if you think about it, that's kind of a bonus you don't really have like the 5 honing in on you with a bike like this it looks more like you're you know mature seasoned rider who's going to be zipping around on this thing Anyway, you know the old adage, you can't judge a book by this cover. I feel like this one embodies all of that. You can't judge this just by looking at it. You gotta ride it, you gotta jump on, you gotta take it for a spin. Man, only thing I can say though, this bike will get me in trouble. If I hang on to this thing, oh geez, I can't imagine. But yeah, so overall you guys, John's Moto Garage, the CB1100, it's unassuming, probably underrated. Uh, it's a sleeper man. I don't think a lot of people see this bike and expect that it could do what it can do. And now the CB1100 RS is probably moved up to number one on bikes that I want to get. Because if you know me, you know I'm down to try out all bikes. But at the end of the day, I want a bike that I think personally looks cool. I want a bike that has the performance. I want a bike where I don't feel like I'm going to kill myself on it. This thing is like... It's all of those, man. It really is. And that RS version, I'll show a picture here. Jeez. That thing is just rad looking. 
anyway so hats off to honda for this cb 1100 and uh like i said it kind of fell into my lap i was not planning on picking up this motorcycle but i'm pretty pretty excited about it i mean geez what a cool bike i would just obviously you know change out mirrors and bars you know a few little things that i would do differently on this bike or just go out and get the get the rs version another really cool thing about this is now that you can get these used a few years old you can pick these up for anywhere from like four to six thousand bucks relatively low mileage some with some nice upgrades already in place and that is a lot of bike for the money and a lot of comfort this is a really great value and the interesting thing with this bike is i feel like it kind of sits there in a class of its own i know kawasaki now has some old school looking motorcycles but i don't know of any other bikes you've got your yamaha xsr 900 but but i really can't think of any other bikes that really match up you know head to head with this one as far as just what this bike accomplishes so i don't know i just don't know Ooh, so there you have it, you guys. John's Moto Garage, the uh, CB1100. That's my initial ride review and impressions on the bike. Overall, super excited about this thing. And if you haven't considered it, but you dig more or less what this has to offer, I would highly consider going out. Get your hands on one. Take it for a ride and see what your thoughts are. I imagine this is what I've been missing out all these years in that sport touring realm. I imagine if I were to get like a Kawasaki Concourse, which I've been trying to pick one of those up for a while, that i'd be walking away with the same smile on my face because it really is just such a blast such a blast something about that torque curve the throttle response the delivery the handling the comfort like everything together combined makes for just one superb riding experience so there you have it you guys good times on the cb 1100 like and subscribe if you dig the content i appreciate all the support we'll catch you guys on the next one drop a comment below what are your thoughts on this bike? Have you ridden one? Do you dig it? Are you against it? I'd love to hear what you have to say. And we'll catch you on the next one. Adios. Nos vemos.